Remember we use this time for this precious time we have from Almighty God. Will we use it to please Him or to please ourselves? Will we use it to indulge in sinful lifestyle? Or will we get rid of our sin and start obeying Jesus and doing the things that please Him? We want to please God. God gives you breath in your lungs today. If somebody gives you a gift, do you say thank you for the gift and receive it gladly? Or do you say, eh, I don't want that. No, and they scoff at them and mock them and shrug your shoulders at them and, and, and walk the other way. If somebody gives you a beautiful gift, let's say free, everlasting, beautiful life through following Jesus, I want to receive the gift with, with, with joy and do what he says to do. So Jesus wants to give you everlasting, beautiful life, but you have to obey him. You have to do his will. His will is the best for your life both now and forever, the best for your life. But the will of Satan is to destroy you. The devil comes to steal, kill, and destroy. So we have to obey Jesus, do his will. He has the best for your life. He cares for your soul. Jesus Christ loved you to die for you. Jesus didn't love you to die against you. He loved you to die for you. The wisdom of God is for you. The perfect wisdom of Almighty God is for you. It's the best for you. It proves to be the best for you. Muhammad, mom is dead. Buddha is dead. Krishna is dead. But Jesus Christ, he rose from the dead. So he proves to have the perfect wisdom. Glory to God. Glory to Jesus. Amen. So Jesus Christ proves to have the perfect wisdom for the brain. The best for you. Jesus has the best for you. Why do some people reject everlasting, free, beautiful life forever through Jesus? Why would you do this? Why would you reject free, beautiful, everlasting life? Some people, they'll pay $100 for alcohol to destroy their liver, possibly get drunk and die in a car accident. But they'll reject everlasting, free, beautiful life through Jesus Christ. This is foolishness. So we need the wisdom of God. We need the wisdom of God that leads to everlasting life.